Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixel Perfect. How are you doing, my friend? Let me know in the comments and I actually do want to know how you're doing. I'm not asking for formality. By the way, I hope you're having a beautiful day and making it an awesome one. I trust you a thousand percent. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can literally make any microphone. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> any microphone sound like any other microphone and that too absolutely precisely and accurately. And we're going to be able to achieve this with the help of a very special software. For this example today, we're going to be using the Zoom H1, which is discontinued at the moment. Maybe you can pick one on eBay for about $50 or less. You can buy the newer version for about $100, $120. I'm not really sure. So we're going to make this microphone sound like the Neumann U87 AI, which is the industry standard, which retails for about $32 to $3,600. That's kidney money. Don't even ask me how I got it though. Well, in this video, we're going to be matching the tonality. So there are a couple limitations, some physical limitations. Let's say you have a microphone, which is 30 feet away from you and then it's also capturing a lot of background noise and your voice is this tiny thing going into the microphone it's echoing a lot you cannot expect to match that voice with a microphone which is close to you also other physical limitations may include plosives let's say this is a microphone which gets in a lot of plosives and you want to match it with this one but it's not going to remove the plosives to remove the plosives you would need something like this to protect it. So apart from physical limitations, we got to be matching exactly one microphone to the other. I'm super stoked to share this with you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the magical world of audio editing, my friend. And first of all, let's talk about what all we need. We need voice samples of both the microphones. So for this example, we're going to make this microphone sound like this one. So we need voice samples from this microphone and this microphone. If you're matching instruments, then you need the same instrument samples. Make sense? So in this example, we're going to make voice adjustments and voice editing. So you need voice samples from both of these microphones. So if you have access to the expensive microphone or any other kind of microphone that you want to match your sound to, if you can hire it, that would be the best thing ever. That way you can absolutely accurately make your microphone sound like your reference microphone. If you don't have access to that, please don't worry. All you have to do is to search for review of that particular microphone on YouTube. For example, this is the microphone that I want to reference and I have this microphone. So I would search for Neumann U87 AI reviews and I would look through all the videos and find somebody, listen to all the videos, find somebody who has a similar voice as yours and pick up that voice. That way you have your voice sample with your microphone and you have a reference voice. By the way, the most accurate way to do this is having your microphone and your reference microphone side by side and then record something on it simultaneously. And then we're going to make the match. So if you can rent it or borrow it or get access to it anywhere, maybe you go to a studio and record your voice there. If you can anyhow get access to a voice sample, your voice sample using that microphone, that would be the best thing ever. If it's not accessible, I already told you what to do. So let's get down to business. Here we are in Adobe Audition. Let's go ahead and record a track. So click on the record button right there. Let's name it Unmesh Voice. And it can be mono, bit depth, 24 is fine. Hit OK. And we're going to record something. And by the way, let's get this one ready as well. This will also independently record the exact same thing I say. That would be the most accurate way to do it. You can do it independently once here, other time here. But if you can have the same thing in both the microphone, that would be fantastic for something or some software to sample. All right. So let's keep it at the same distance and we're going to hit record on this one. So let's just start recording. So this one is recording already and we're going to hit OK and recording will start there as well. So let's hit OK. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to do color grading in Photoshop. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh, and then you need to create a file. I don't know what I'm talking. All you have to do is to click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. And inside of curves, create a point on the right hand side, take it up and then create a point on the left hand side and take it down. This will increase the contrast. But don't forget the other channels. You can go to the blue channel and then just have it up in the shadow areas to create a matte effect and then again go to the green channel. And at this point, I am absolutely not sure what I'm saying, but this will be good for our sample. So let's stop the recording by clicking on this button right there and stop the recording here as well. 
So let's get the audio from the Zoom H1 to the computer and we're gonna connect it as a USB card so that it shows up as storage device. So I've opened the audio from Zoom in Audition here as well. So this is the audio from the Neumann U87 AI. This is from Zoom. So first of all, let's convert it to mono. Select all of that. Let's go to favorites and convert to mono. There you go. And just let's copy this audio from where we said, hi there, this is Unmesh. So let's go here and I need to wear my headphones. By the way, to make things less complicated for this section of the video, the audio will be unedited. So you might hear some noise. The audio might not sound as crystal clear. So bear with that just for this section. Anyway, let's play the Zoom audio. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect. And in this video, this is the Neumann audio. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to All do right. color grading. So let's just bring the Zoom video. Let's copy from here. Let's copy it, Control or Command C. Let's come to this one and just simply paste it right over here. We don't need all of that. We can just paste it right here. Just delete that and paste it there. So this, my friend, is the zoom audio. First of all, we need to match the volume. So let's increase the dial right over here. This will amplify it. So let's go for 7.5. Is it matching? It's pretty comparable. Now let's play one section of the video and compare with the Neumann. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop. Duh. So this was from Neumann. First thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop. Duh. This was from Zoom. Listen carefully. Now to match the audio, we're going to use a very special plugin. It's one of my favorites, the Isotope Ozone. And by the way, you can go ahead and download the trial version of it. I'll link it up in the description. So first of all, let's load that plugin in the effects rack. So click on this arrow and then VST3, Isotope, or it should be inside of EQ, Isotope. And here, Ozone 9 match EQ. It already says what it's going to do. So you can also use this to get your voice closer to a voice artist. Let's say you like somebody's voice and you can get the same crispiness or if they have a certain characteristic, you can get close to that. Not exactly that, but kind of close to it. So let's choose match EQ. Now in here for the very first section, you can capture a reference. So this is our Neumann reference. So let's select that area a little bit as okay too and click on capture and play it. And it's gonna capture Hi there, this yeah. is Unmesh from Piximperfect. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to do color grading See? in Photoshop. The first thing it's you need to do is to open your and image in Photoshop, that. duh. And then you need to create a file. I don't know what I'm talking. I think this All will you be have enough. to do is to click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. And inside of curves, create a point on the right hand side, take it up and then create a point on the left hand side and take it down. This will All increase right. the contrast. But don't forget the other I channels. Click you on stop and that's enough. All right. Now the next section, as you guessed it right, is apply to. Here you have to capture the target and it's gonna measure the difference and cover the difference for you. See how this will work? So let's select this area. This was from Zoom. Now click on capture. Let's play it. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to do color grading in Photoshop. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh, and then you need to create a file. I don't know what I'm talking. All you have to do is to click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. And inside of curves, create a point on the right hand side, take it up and then create a point on the left hand side and take it down. I this think that would be enough contrast, again. But Let's don't forget the it. other channels. So we have both the samples and now when this is applied, your voices have matched. And by the way, you can play with smoothing here and amount is the main thing we're gonna play with. Wait for it. Let's try to match it. First of all, let's listen to a section of this one. And the best way is just keep two sections side by side. So I'm gonna just keep this section. Let's delete the other sections that we don't wanna keep. So this is the section that I wanna keep. And let's delete the other sections. All right. All right. So the first section, I'm gonna turn this off for a moment. The first one is from the Neumann and the second one is from the Zoom. Listen carefully. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh. You see the difference right there. Now, we're gonna turn this on and play only the second part. Let's see the change, on and off. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh. The first thing you need Without to do it. is to open your image in Photoshop, duh. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh. You see the difference? Not that much, right? So you need to increase the amount. Amount is how much difference are we covering? 
So let's increase the amount and increase it to about, let's go for 80%, 80%, 82%, something like that, a very high number. And now let's play it. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh. And now let's play Neumann. Let's turn it off, of course. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh. Now let's play this one by turning it on. The first thing you need to do is to open your very image. Very close, in isn't it? And we can even increase the amount to see what effect it has. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh very close. So we can do something like this. And then let's go ahead and apply it. Select that and click on apply. All right. And now let's play both of these. Now, of course, we need to just increase the amplitude a little bit, maybe one. There you go. It's matching. Now let's play it. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh, Neumann. The first thing you need to do is to open your image in Photoshop, duh, absolutely 95% I can say it's matching. Now there's a reason, of course, we pay 3,600 for this one and $100 for this one, but see. Amazing, just amazing, isn't it? Isotope Ozone's Match EQ is a brilliant and absolutely magical plugin. Actually, I love all of Isotope's panels and I do own them all. And uh, I understand they're expensive. They're actually very expensive. It's just hilariously crazy how expensive that is. But then again, I got it in a sale. They were selling everything. It was, I think, the everything bundle and they were selling it at 50, 60% off on Black Friday or it was an occasion. I got it at a very good price. If there are certain offers around that, I'll link them up in the description. But it, uh, Isotopes plugins are definitely something you must have. If you cannot afford it right now, you must have it as a good investment if you are seriously into audio. The best part is if you do want to try out certain things, there's always a trial version for you. Match EQ absolutely opens up a lot of opportunities. I would tell you a little story. I absolutely loved Hitman's voice. You know who Hitman is? So Hitman is a game. It's a very popular game. And the, the character in Hitman Agent 47 is voiced by David Bateson. I just love his voice. And I wanted to have a voice like that. So I did get a clip of David Bateson's voice and I did run Match EQ on that with my voice. And there's a little bit of that flair added in the editing of this audio. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all these awesome and amazing people who support Pix Imperfect on Patreon and help keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.